this plant here is a common feature in this terrain. The Maasai name for its older pie. And uh, that's where we get the name for the gorge, Olduvai Gorge, because a lot of this grows within the gorge. It's got another nice name too, Mother-in-Law's Tongue, and you can see why it's got a point and it's, uh, it's rubbery. But this is wild sisal, and amongst the native peoples of Africa, this has been used for making snares and for making bowstrings. Some people call it the bowstring hemp. And uh, it's quite interesting how you get the fibres from it. A very uh, succulent plant. What I need to do is to break it down by pounding it like this. You can see the fibres starting to separate there. Plants comprised almost solidly of fibres. I learned to do this from Bushman down in the Kalahari. The pounding is just the first stage. You can see the plant softening now. And what I want to do is to split it open. Like that. All the way down its length. Pound it just gently now. So, now, on the other end of the stick, I've carved it to form sort of a blade shape, like that. I'm going to use that now to scrape out the pulp. Now you get to a point where some of the fibres are starting to lift out from the pulp. What we do is we comb those out, like that. and then specifically scrape them down to the bare fibre. You can hang those on a bush to dry. So there we go, there's the raw material. Nice long fibres from which we can make very strong string. just add new fibres in as you need. The key thing is to keep these strands equal thicknesses. If one gets thinner than the other it will tend to wrap around the thick one and then you only have the strength of one strand rather than the strength of the two combined. These sorts of skills are disappearing because of the availability of man-made fibres but you think about it, there's not a lot of effort involved in making this stuff and it's completely biodegradable and just simply grows back.